Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a mobile responsive nav bar using plain HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. If you don't know any JavaScript, that's totally fine. It's going to be real simple and I'm going to show you how to do everything. So let's get started. This is what we're building. Uh, if you can see, it's just a plain nav bar with a background image. And as you can see, as we get below 768 pixels on the breakpoint here, you can see our nav bar changes and the menu goes away and here sh shows the uh, hamburger menu. So, and we click the hamburger menu and we have a side drawer pop out. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to build this exactly. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm started in a blank folder here. I do have one file, it's an image that I downloaded from Unsplash, a little space theme. As you can tell from my other video, I do like space. So uh, here, you can download it from Unsplash. Um, they have thousands of images you can pick from. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by creating our index.html file and also our st style sheet. Okay, and let's go ahead and get a boilerplate going so we can get started. Um, we'll go ahead and link our style sheet. There we go. And let's go ahead and add our script tag. I'm not gonna create a separate folder for our uh, for our JavaScript or a separate file for our JavaScript. I'm just gonna do it all in line here just to make it simple. And I'm gonna set off our little to-do list here in JavaScript. So first off, we're gonna be a uh, hamburger and then we need to select our nav menu. Then we need to add event listener. And then we're gonna do um, a nav menu function and we're gonna to toggle an active class list for a couple things here. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, I'm gonna use an extension called Live Server, and you can uh, see, there we go. You can download the extensions, it's free, it's real simple to use. Basically, it just updates the, the HTML file. So let's get started here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create a header div. And in there, I'm going to create a, uh, see, a nav bar. And inside the nav bar, let's do a, let's do a nav logo. And let's just use a header. We'll just say nav bar. And then also inside the nav bar, let's do our hamburger menu. And we're not using um, uh, font awesome or anything like that. We're just going to style our bars. Uh, to make it easy. Mm. There we go. And three of those for a hamburger. And then outside of the hamburger div, but inside the nav bar, let's do our menu. Okay, so nav menu. Actually, let's make this an unordered list. There we go. And inside here, let's um, we'll have some links. Um, they're not going to go anywhere. So home and let's do, let's do a, um, a shop and about and a contact page. Contact would look nice. Okay. There we go. And let's add what a little div down here for our image. Um, the background, we'll leave it blank for now. So let's go ahead and let's do some styling, make it look a little nicer. So first off, I want to take care of a few things here. Um, mm -hmm, whoops. What's up here? There we go. Box sizing. Box. And we'll set our padding to zero. And also our margin to zero. Forgot something there. There we go. Alrighty. And we're gonna get rid of some of this uh, the style type. It's gonna be real ugly. Then also for length, um, text decoration. We don't want anything. We want none. There we go. All right. So let's slide this over a little bit so we can see a little better. There we go. Okay. So let's start with our header. Header, and we're going to say um, width 100%, and we'll do a height of 80 pixels, and uh, we'll give it a 
the uh, background color of a light black. There we go. Okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and change some styling here. A. Whoops. So we can see everything nice and neat there. Okay. So let's go to our nav menu. Or nav bar. Sorry. We'll display flex. So it's all in one line here. There we go. And we also want to um, justify content space between. And then also we're going to align items in the center. Okay. There we go. Now let's have our uh, nav menu to display as flex as well. Display flex. Okay. And then we're also going to, uh, there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just give it some, uh, padding here. Be nice. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and do our hamburger and right now I'm just going to say display block. We're going to go ahead and hide it in the media query and let's do this. Our bars, we're going to say display, if I can type display block, uh, we're going to say a width of 25 pixels a height. Three pixels each there. Margin is five pixels on them. And let's see background color so we can actually see it. It's going to be white. And let's do a transition all. He's in, out. Whoa, that's not right. Transform. Transition. Okay. There we go. So it's displaying. We don't want it to display though. What we want to happen is for it to uh, be hidden. And then once we get below our 768 pixel breakpoint, it will appear over here. So we need to hide this menu on our media queries and also um, hide this uh, here. We'll change it and unhide our hamburger menu. There we go. So let's go down and add a media query. So there we go. And we'll do max width of 768 pixels. Okay. And this is where we'll show our hamburger display block. There we go. And we also need to hide this. So nav menu. And what we're going to do, we're going to position, position it as fixed. So we can hide it off of the screen. Um, so, and also we're going to drop it down. We'll do that in a moment. So left percent should throw it way off the screen. There we go. See so if fix our nav menu there. Okay. So let's first, uh, let's give this a background color. We'll make it the same color as the uh, header. And also right now I want it on the screen so we can actually see what we're styling here. Um, let's make it display as a column. There we go. Top. We'll have it display just under the nav bar. There we go. Um, let's give it a height of 100%, a width. And have it just pick up just about a little more than half of the screen and we'll give it a nice transition that we won't be able to see yet but we'll be able to see when we write our javascript so there we have it okay so not displaying very nicely but we're gonna get there so let's go ahead and hide this Whoop. there we go Okay, so let's go ahead and what's that? I'm gonna give that some padding. 
There we go. All right, let's go ahead. So everything should be responsive. There we go. But of course, nothing happens when we click our hamburger. So let's go add our JavaScript. In our JavaScript to do here, and keep in mind, our nav menu is here. It's just way over here off the page. So we're gonna see here, we're gonna uh, create some variables. What we're gonna do, our const a hamburger, we're gonna grab it with a query selector. So document.query selector, and we're looking for the class of hamburger. And then we're gonna do the same thing for our nav menu. So I'm just gonna call this nav menu, camel case. I can't type here. Document.query selector, and we're grabbing the nav menu right here. Okay, and of course, oh, oh what happened? put this in parentheses. Okay, next let's add an event listener and the event listener is going to be a click. Whenever we click on our hamburger, we want our side drawer to appear. So I'm gonna say hamburger dot add event listener. And that this, shut up Siri. Sorry, Siri heard me say hamburger and started talking about hamburgers, okay. So our, uh, yes, our event listener is a click. And on this click, we want to run a function and the function is just going to be, um, say mobile menu. Okay, so we haven't written the function yet. We're gonna do that right now, just below here. So we want to say function mobile menu. And inside this function, we're going to toggle a class list that we have not yet created. We need to go back and create that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick, actually. So in our class list, so our nav menu is off the screen here. And what we want to say is nav menu dot active. And so when we run this function, it's gonna find this active class and it's just going to say left zero and it's going to pull it onto the screen. So let's go back and do this. So our first one is going to be hamburger dot class list toggle, and we want to toggle the active, and then we can copy this down. So we are going to do the same thing for the nav menu. Okay, so let's see if that works. Hey, there it is. So still a little bit ugly. Um, let's go ahead and keep it a little bit more styles just to make it a little bit nicer. So nav menu. And we'll say font size, um, font size to rim. And let's let's change the font here. Let's go, I'm gonna do this here. Let's go, don't need to see more, to Google. And let's grab a, uh, we use whatever we want. We'll use this one here. Pull this all the way open. So let's do, I'm just gonna grab the, normal, regular, and you can import this into your HTML file or into your CSS file. And I'm just gonna do the CSS file. That's what I typically do. Copy that and just come up here, somewhere at the top. You can put it wherever you want, there we go. And we can just grab that there. Okay, and we'll pull that back down. There we go, and Let's add this, we'll just say right here. So it applies to all, there we go. There we go, nice, nice. Um, and let's give this a little bit of some padding here. Um, that should make it a little bit nicer. Hey, there we go. So there we go, yes. At the 768 breakpoint, it hides it. Now let's just add a little background image just to make it a little bit nicer. So I already have my image here. This is what we're going to be using. And we already set up our div here. So what we're going to do, we can just do it right here at the bottom. Background. And we're going to use background image URL. And though it's not really a URL, it's just what it wants to be called. Background.jpg. So 
and here it should look for that there. Uh, of course, it's not going to be displaying background.jpg. Okay. And what we need to do is give it a height, and the height is going to be 100 viewport heights. So there it is. Um, still ugly. We need to give it some more styling. We're going to give it a background size, and we're just going to tell it to cover, and then a background position of center center and that should make it a little bit nicer so there we go i think that's uh that's pretty good for this tutorial here um it shows you how to make just a mobile responsive navbar and basic javascript and add a little image in there so as you can see it is fully responsive as we go down to past 768 pixel breakpoint the nav menu changes and the hamburger appears click on the hamburger shows our nav bar I chose some larger text that seems to kind of be the style here in 2021. So you can do whatever you'd like. You can add in some different functions and um, just change the styling of the nav bar. You can make it a drop down opposed to a side drawer. Uh, feel free to tweak this however you would like. I'm going to put the code on my GitHub and there'll be a link in the description. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I will be putting out some more content just like this one in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.